Okay, so as you can see, we have cut all the material to make our cabinets. This is the first of the cabinets that we've made. It's only an undercoat at the moment. Should be finished in a nice piano finish and a nice grey. Um, so we've got all our materials. I'm about to go and uh, sand back the first coat on our actual stands and then we'll show you how the rest of the cabinets are going to be put together. Part of our bookshelf speakers. Uh, now, these are the stands. Obviously, we've got the base, which we looked at earlier, and then the cabinet that sits on top. <clears throat> so, we've given them one light um, coat. I'm just doing a sand now to go back in the spray booth and do the second coat. So, as you can see, we started with our original piece here two bits of 25mm MDF glued together, and then we profiled that through the router. The reason we're using MDF is it's really easy to work with, although a little bit toxic as we all know, but a very dense material and heavy, so the bookshelves will be a, um, you know, quite a heavy stand and that'll obviously reduce the, or lower the resonant frequency of the material, not have any vibration issues. Um, there's a lot of other materials you can use, but MDF for us is it's readily available. This is a good quality furniture grade MDF, so. Get these back into the paint booth, just finish off sanding here, and then when sand comes in, he can get on to painting. So we've done our first coat, sand it back, and we'll get ready for our second coat of paint. I think this is going to take about four coats. So hopefully we'll be able to have our beautiful speakers done before Christmas. Okay, well I've cleaned up from downstairs and I'd like to give you all an overview of the speaker cabinets that we're building, the back of the actual cabinet itself. So, this is the actual speaker cabinet, um, still in primer. Obviously we've got a set of Dyn Audios to go in here. Morel, Brax and German Maestro. So we're going to have a really high-end sounding demo room for you to come and listen to. I'm really actually quite excited about this because I've heard the set of bracks in these bookshelves and they absolutely pound. Not only that, they sound phenomenal. Very, very dynamic. So I'm actually really super excited to get these done. So we've got our goodies. These are our uh, stands for the base plate, if you like, that go into the carpet. We have our backing plate for our binding posts to go into. We've got made. We're going to have these laser etched as well. Um, now when they're done they will look something like that. Okay and they have a beautiful set of FuryTech binding posts. Got quite a few on order so these are going to sound and look super fantastic. Um, this is just one of the drivers going in the cabinets. This is the German Maestro driving. See it's got the nice ceramic coating on the cone itself. Just really nicely made and of course my favourite bit of writing on a speaker made in Germany. Love it! I had someone ask me the other day, why does Craig like speakers made in Germany? I think that question answers itself. <laughs> Beautiful set of speakers. We've also got the Dyn Audio Essitars going in as well. I'm not sure if you can see those. Haven't taken them out of the box yet. 
but I will in a minute. Okay, our bookshelf speakers will all be run off car audio amplifiers. Sam's had built a custom made power supply and he's modified these Helix amplifiers to run off the power supply. So what we're trying to replicate is what your car could sound like and to come to a listening room where your speakers are actually powered by car audio amplifiers. With car audio speakers, they are gonna sound mint. We'd love you to come and listen to this. Make a booking, give us a call guys, anytime you like. Um, this should be up and running in the next six weeks and you'll be able to have a listen to some really nice high-end car audio. Well, that's the overview of the speakers. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time.